are Christ my Lord The only way to meet my God Jesus is the Christ my Lord He washed away my sins for me Jesus is the Christ my Lord The darkness crumbles at His name Jesus is the Christ my Lord King of kings I will Warriors of the Spiritual Battle, Who Follows Christ of Genesis 3.15 Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Matthew chapter 7, verse 3 to 5. God is spirit and must be worshipped in spirit and truth. Originally, humans are created as spiritual beings in the image of God who is the spirit. Thus, those who give worship can only succeed in worship when the spirit of God is in them. If you engrave the Word of God into your heart during worship, hold on to the Word and pray in spiritual warfare. Then you will definitely receive the answer of the Word of living God being fulfilled within your lives. If you are a child of God who believed and accepted Jesus as your Christ, receiving His love of the cross according to today's scripture, you can change your old self of running devil's errand that dragged around your soul, heart, and mind. Through the spiritual warfare, we become an amazing person of the gospel who does not fight, be jealous, or slanderous to others. Jesus is the Christ. We are children of God. All problems are gone. Devil, be gone. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Today's story is about Barnabas, who saved and helped everyone with the love of Christ. Barnabas is a person who took the lead in God's dream, world evangelization, and helped Paul, who was transformed through meeting Christ. He helped Paul to stand as a wonderful evangelist. Barnabas' original name was Joseph. He was one of the 70 disciples who followed Jesus. Barnabas, which means son of comfort, well served the early Jerusalem church, and he was a comforter to the apostles and saints in the church. He has a heart to love other souls. Thus, he sold his own field and gave the money to the apostles to distribute according to the needs of each one. So he was praised for being a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and faith. In the early church, the disciples preached that Jesus of Genesis 3.15 was the Christ Messiah. At this time, Deacon Stephen was stoned to death by the Jews while preaching Jesus Christ of Genesis 3.15, who broke the power of sin, death, hell, and Satan that bind us due to the original sin of leaving God. In that place, there was a man named Saul, an Orthodox Jewish believer and Pharisee who thought Stephen's execution is justified. Saul, his name meaning the Great One, was a leader who arrested and imprisoned those who believed in Jesus. However, after Saul met Christ in Damascus, he changed his name to Paul, which means the little one, and became the leader who preaches Christ. Paul wanted to go to Jerusalem to have fellowship with the disciples of Jesus. 
However, when the disciples saw Paul, they all trembled in fear. Because Paul was a persecutor of those who preached Christ. Why did Paul come here? Perhaps to arrest us? Let's run away, quickly! When the disciples saw Paul, they were startled and tried to run away. Paul said to them, After I met Christ as the light in Damascus, I have changed. But everyone looked at Paul with suspicion and did not believe what he said. At that time, a man came and took Paul's hand. That person was Barnabas. Paul said, I have changed since I met Christ, but no one believes in me. Barnabas answered, Don't worry, I believe in the revelation of God you spoke of. Like this, Barnabas, who was filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, saw the grace of God that came upon Paul. And Barnabas took Paul to the Jerusalem church, up to apostles and disciples. When the disciples saw Paul, they were astonished and said, Barnabas, Paul is a terrible person who tormented us. Why did you bring him here? Barnabas answered, Paul, my friend, is a chosen vessel of God to preach the gospel to the Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. Now, let's work together to spread the gospel. Jesus' disciples were astonished when Barnabas said that he would preach the gospel with Paul. But hearing Barnabas' words reminded them of Jesus, who forgave them through the love of redemption on the cross. Then the hearts of the disciples, the hatred towards Paul, started to melt down. However, when the Hellenistic Jews tried to kill Paul, who was preaching the gospel, he went down to Tarsus. At that time, the church suffered a great hardship of persecution due to the martyrdom of Stephen. Thus, the disciples were scattered to Antioch to preach the gospel. Finally, the church of Antioch was established. Upon hearing news of many people believing and returning to Christ, the church in Jerusalem sent Barnabas to the church of Antioch. Barnabas went to the church of Antioch and said to the people of God, With a strong heart, remain in church with Christ. And he went towards Tarsus to find Paul. Then he brought back Paul back to the church of Antioch and taught the word of God for a year. Paul and Barnabas taught the Antioch disciples only the secret of spiritual warfare. In the name of Christ, the offspring of woman of Genesis 3.15 crushed the head of Satan, the ancient serpent. Then the disciples of Antioch church were now called as Christians who are accompanied with Christ. And the Holy Spirit spoke to dispatch Barnabas and Paul who were serving the church of Antioch by putting hands on their head as missionaries. In the end, as the first missionaries, these two went on their first journey of evangelism to spread the biblical gospel far, far to the land. Their journey of evangelism has become the basis for spreading of the gospel all over the world. Barnabas always comforted people by saying, Because the living God has given us the power in the name of Christ, we have nothing to fear. And he shared what he had. Every day, in the name of Christ, the offspring of women in Genesis 3.15, he destroyed the work of the devil in his body, brought curses and disasters, and fought the spiritual battle to enjoy the Emmanuel with God. So he didn't say that the mistakes Paul had made in the past were bad. Rather, he saw God's plan in Paul 
and waited for him with the heart of love. In the end, he recommended before congregation and helped Paul so that he could start as the first missionary for world evangelization. Apostle Paul used to believe in God with zeal in the past. He was blameless according to law. However, he could not open his spiritual eyes to see Satan's activities. So bound by the power of Satan, he became a liar and a greedy servant of devil throughout his life, becoming a murderer and taking the lead in killing people who shouted for Jesus Christ. After he met Jesus Christ, the light on the way to Damascus to arrest those who believed in Jesus, he opened his spiritual eyes to see Satan's activities. Paul, who had finally opened his spiritual eyes, regarded everything in the world that he was so proud of as a waste. And in the name of Christ, he crushed the head of Satan that caused hatred among people, making them talk thoughtlessly and destroying relationships that resulted to become enemies. Then he was transformed into a wonderful evangelist who loves and saves all souls while enjoying the authority and identity of becoming a child of God. The devil deceives you that you will never die, but God said you will surely die. The devil tells us to eat the fruit, but God tells us to not to eat of it. The devil whispers to sit and God sit, but the Bible tells us to submit to God's word. Now, our remnants who have been called by God should live like warriors of spiritual warfare that overcomes the devil, Satan, and evil spirits that prevent us from submitting to the word of God with the power of Christ of Genesis 3.15. So, I bless you to become the spiritual summit of world evangelization that only follows Christ of Genesis 3.15, who crushed Satan's head. I hope you can save and help all the souls within the love of Christ. Almighty God, thank you for calling me as the child of God with the background of the kingdom of God through the love of the redemption of Jesus Christ on the cross. Every day, let me become a warrior of the spiritual battle that destroys the works of the devil that are in my body in the name of Jesus Christ, Genesis 3.15. Allow me to become the spiritual summit of world evangelization that shines the light of Christ to all souls to be remained in God's memory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <laughs>